Hello, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Google I.O. I learned that today is the start of Gemini season. I'm not really sure what the big deal is. Every day is Gemini season here at Google. A couple of weeks ago, Gemini completed Pokemon Blue. It earned all eight badges, traveled to Victory Road, defeated the Elite Four and the champion, bringing us one step closer to achieving API, artificial Pokemon intelligence. <laughs> Introducing Google Beam, a new AI-first video communications platform. Beam uses a new state-of-the-art video model to transform 2D video streams into a realistic 3D experience. Behind the scenes, an array of six cameras captures you from different angles. And with AI, we can merge these video streams together and render you on a 3D light field display. In collaboration with HP, the first Google Beam devices will be available for early customers later this year. And today, we are introducing this real-time speech translation directly in Google Meet. English and Spanish translation is now available for subscribers with more languages rolling out in the next few weeks. And real-time translation will be coming to enterprises later this year. We also have our research prototype, Project Mariner. It's an agent that can interact with the web and get stuff done. Say you want to find an apartment for you and two roommates in Austin. You've each got a budget of $1,200 a month. You want a washer dryer or at least a laundromat nearby. Using agent mode, the Gemini app goes to work behind the scene. It finds listings from sites like Zillow that match your criteria and uses Project Mariner when needed to adjust very specific filters. An experimental version of the agent mode in the Gemini app will be coming soon to subscribers. We are working to bring this to life with something we call personal context. With your permission, Gemini models can use relevant context across your Google Apps in a way that is private, transparent, and fully under your control. Let me show you an example in Gmail. You might be familiar with our AI-powered smart reply features. It's amazing how popular they are. Now imagine if those responses could sound like you. That's the idea behind personalized smart replies. Gemini 2.5 Pro is our most intelligent model ever and the best foundation model in the world. Just two weeks ago, we shipped a preview of an updated 2.5 Pro so you could get your hands on it and start building with it right away. Today, I'm thrilled to announce that we're releasing an updated version of 2.5 Flash. The new Flash is better in nearly every dimension, improving across key benchmarks for reasoning, code, and long context. I'm excited to say that Flash will be generally available in early June with Pro soon after. But you can go try out the preview now in AI Studio, Vertex AI, and Gemini App. We are also introducing new previews for text-to-speech. These now have a first-of-its-kind multi-speaker support for two voices. This means the model can converse in more expressive ways. It can capture the really subtle nuances of how we speak. This works in over 24 languages, and it can easily, easily go between languages. You can use this text-to-speech capability starting today in the Gemini API. Gemini 2.5 Pro is incredible at coding. I got 2.5 Pro to code me a simple web app in Google AI Studio to share some photos and learn more. And I'm going to jump to another tab that I ran right before this keynote with the same prompt. And here's what Gemini generates. Whoa. 2.5 Pro is available on your favorite IDE platforms and in Google products like Android Studio, Firebase Studio, Gemini Code Assist, and our asynchronous coding agent, Jules. Jules can tackle complex tasks in large code bases that used to take hours. That Jules is now in public beta, so anyone can sign up at jules.google. Today, we're making 2.5 Pro even better by introducing a new mode we're calling Deep Think. It pushes model performance to its limits, delivering groundbreaking results. Deep Think uses our latest cutting edge research in thinking and reasoning. We're going to make it available to trusted testers via the Gemini API to get their feedback before making it widely available. Gemini is already the best multimodal 
foundation model, but we're working hard to extend it to become what we call a world model. That is a model that can make plans and imagine new experiences by simulating aspects of the world, just like the brain does. We recently partnered with Ira, a company that assists people in the blind and low vision community to navigate the world by connecting them via video to human visual interpreters. Using Astra technology, we build a prototype to help more people have access to this type of assistance. For those who want an end-to-end -end AI search experience, we are introducing an all-new AI mode. And I'm excited to share that AI mode is coming to everyone in the US starting today. And starting this week, Gemini 2.5, our most intelligent model series, is coming to search. With AI mode, you can ask whatever's on your mind. And as you can see here, search gets to work. It generates your response, putting everything together for you, including links to content and creators you might not have otherwise discovered, and merchants and businesses with useful information like ratings. Soon, AI mode will be able to make your responses even more helpful with personalized suggestions based on your past searches. You can also opt in to connect other Google apps, starting with Gmail. We call this personal context, and you'll see when AI mode is bringing yours in to help. Deep Search uses the same query fan out technique you just heard about, but multiplied. It can issue dozens or even hundreds of searches on your behalf to create an expert level, fully cited report in just minutes. Right here, Task complete. I get great ticket options with helpful context so I can make an informed decision. We're taking the next big leap in multimodality by bringing Project Astra's live capabilities into AI mode. We call this Search Live. And now, using your camera, Search can see what you see and give you helpful information as you go back and forth in real time. With AI mode, we are bringing a new level of intelligence to help you shop with Google. I want a few new dresses for summer. Search gave me some great options, but now I'm faced with the classic online shopping dilemma. I have no clue how these styles will look on me. So we are introducing a new try-on feature that will help you virtually try on clothes so you get a feel for how styles might look on you. Let me show you a live demo. I really like this blue one. I click on this button to try it on. It asks me to upload a picture, which takes me to my camera roll. I have many pictures here. I'm gonna pick one that is full length and a clear view of me, and off it goes. To do this, we built a custom image generation model specifically trained for fashion. Wow, and it's back. Our new intelligent capabilities bring the best of shopping together with the best of AI right here in search. Our new visual shopping and agentic checkout features are rolling out in the coming months, and you can start trying on looks in labs beginning today. We're launching five things today. First, let's talk about Gemini Live. People are blown away by how interactive and natural the conversations are. And it works in over 45 languages, more than 150 countries. And Gemini Live now includes camera and screen sharing, both of which are incredible. All of it is rolling out free of charge in the Gemini app on Android and iOS today. Starting today, Deep Research will now let you upload your own files to guide the research agent, which is one of the top requested features. And soon, we'll let you research across Google Drive and Gmail. This is where Canvas comes in. It's Gemini's interactive space for co-creation. Canvas will now let you transform that report with one tap into all kinds of new things, like a dynamic web page, an infographic, a helpful quiz, even a custom podcast in 45 languages. We're introducing Gemini in Chrome. This will be your AI assistant that's there for you as you browse the web on your desktop. The amazing part is that you can use this, and it understands the context of the page that you're on automatically. So if you have a question, it can be answered. Starting today, we're bringing our latest and most capable image generation model into the Gemini app. 
It's called Imagine 4, and it's a big leap forward. Maybe I want to create a poster for a music festival, and we'll make the chrome dino the big headliner. Imagine 4 doesn't just get the text and spelling right, it's actually making creative choices, like using dinosaur bones in the font, or figuring out the spacing, the font size, the layout that makes it look like this great poster. I'm excited to announce our new state-of-the-art model, VO3. It's available today. VO3 comes with native audio generation. Now you prompt it, and your characters can speak. They left behind a, a ball today. What manner of magic is that? The quality is so good, it feels like you're there, on the boat, with this guy. This ocean, it's a force, a wild, untamed might. Gemini Live capabilities are free and rolling out across Android and iOS. We recently launched Lyria 2, which can generate high-fidelity music and professional-grade audio. The music is melodious, with vocals in solos and choirs. As you hear, it makes expressive and rich music. Lyria 2 is available today for enterprises, YouTube creators, and musicians. Two years ago, we pioneered Synth ID, which embeds invisible watermarks into generated media. Our new Synth ID detector can identify if an image, audio track, text, or video has Synth ID in it. We're starting to roll this out to early testers today. We built new capabilities for filmmakers. So when you're making a video, it will use ingredients you give it, characters, scenes, or styles, and keep them consistent. Or you can direct VO, giving it precise camera instructions and have it shoot along a specific path. We've been building a new AI filmmaking tool for creatives, one that combines the best of VO, Imagine, and Gemini. We're calling it Flow, and it's launching today. Our hero, the grandpa, is building a flying car with help from a feathered friend. These are my ingredients, the old man and his car. We make it easy to upload your own images into the tool, or you can generate them on the fly using Imagine, which is built right in. With a single prompt, you can describe what you want, including very precise camera controls. Flow puts everything in place. The character consistency, the scene consistency, it just works. But what about emerging form factors that could let you experience an AI assistant in new ways? That's exactly why we're building Android XR. We believe there's not a one-size-fits-all for XR, and you'll use different devices throughout your day. We built Android XR together as one team with Samsung and optimized it for Snapdragon with Qualcomm. This is Samsung's Project Muhan, the first Android XR device. Samsung's Project Muhan will be available for purchase later this year. Glasses with Android XR are lightweight and designed for all-day wear, even though they're packed with technology. A camera and microphones give Gemini the ability to see and hear the world. Speakers let you listen to the AI, play music, or take calls. And an optional in-lens display privately shows you helpful information just when you need it. These glasses work with your phone, giving you access to your apps while keeping your hands free. Hey everyone, right now you should be seeing exactly what I'm seeing through the lens of my Android XR glasses. Like my delicious coffee over here and that text from Sharam that just came in. Let's see what he said. All right, it's definitely showtime. So I'm gonna launch Gemini and get us going. Send Sharam a text that I'm getting started and silence my notifications, please. Okay, I've sent that message to him and muted all your notifications. Gemini, what was the name of the coffee shop on the cup I had earlier? Hmm, that might have been Bloom's giving. From what I can tell, it's a vibrant coffee shop on Castro Street. Can you show me the photos of that cafe? I wanna check out the vibes. Definitely. Do these photos from Maps help? This is a very risky demo, but we're gonna give it a shot. Nishta and I are going to speak to each other in our mother tongues. Nishta's going to speak Hindi, 
I'm going to speak Farsi, very poorly. Besiar khub, halami tuni bebini, harfai man, tarjume mishan as Farsi be Englishi. Ha, bilkul. Ab meri puri dunya khul jati hai, aur main sab kuch samajh sakti hu aasani se. Gentle Monster and Warby Parker will be the first eyewear partners to build glasses with Android XR. I can't wait for you to try Android XR for yourself, and we'll have lots more to share in the months ahead. Thank you so much. <laughs>